Good luck. All right, I go first. Um, let's open the bishop diagonal. And I mentioned how I'd either play central fall rook or third fall rook based on my mood. Um, my mood is leaning towards central fall rook, so let's do it. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if my strategy overall um, is to play central foul against static rook and third foul against swinging rook. Although sometimes I do play, I play everything against swinging rook, it seems. Um, but yeah, maybe this is how is Senta I play. Uh, but yeah, this is week 70 of the Shogi Teaching Ladder. Thanks uh, to the Shogi Harbor Discord for helping us coordinate um, match times and such. Um, yeah, 81 Dojo's game scheduling tool is excellent as well. Just It only works if opponents actually use it. So uh, this weekend, instead of playing my scheduled opponents, um, both of which did not respond to e challenges or attempts to schedule matches for myself or for my current opponent, instead we get to play a game, uh, and it'll be good fun. Uh, the notion with the teaching ladder is that you play against a weaker player and a stronger player and have post-game analysis afterward. Also, uh, yeah, certainly welcome Lily. Yeah, hope all's going well in the real world. Yeah. Uh, this morning uh, it was great that Shogi Harbor got to review one of my kifu that is for the rest of us one of my game records uh the last round i played in the attorney to master series and as in the real world i'm finally starting to get things organized despite their opposition at times um i'm starting to get my stuff together and my game is a little bit improved when I can actually focus on the game. Uh, okay. This is interesting. I've tried to do something like this before. So note how the rook is not protecting the bishop. Note that there's this king and the silver between the rook and the bishop. This means that the opponent cannot just open this diagonal, but needs to find some other means of activating their pieces. Um, now, at one time I was of the mindset, well, gosh, if they can't activate their pieces, surely I must attack. That's not the case. Just play a nice, calm, developing move and ask, okay, what's your move? You don't have to have some crazy attack in the opening. This isn't chess. Uh, it's okay to be patient. One might even say it's beneficial. And it took me a long time to learn that lesson. So I am curious what they're developing here. I know they can't push this pawn. They can't... If they push this pawn, it's a target immediately. It might be possible to push it despite that. But I, if this confers some advantage, I'm curious how. Because it put two pawns in the way of the bishop. Um, it might confer some advantage, especially if I push this and I'm trying to break open the center. But um, as for now, if they were to push this pawn forward, later I think they'd have to follow by moving the silver forward. And then this gold and this silver would be disconnected for at least a turn. Yeah, 
so I was saying earlier about this urge to attack. There's not a need to attack. You can often get a good game just playing some strong, patient moves. Um, that said, my every urge here is to start an attack, to like open the center, bring the rook out, strike the head of the bishop. Um, but you know, maybe I've got a better move. I don't have to play that. Or bring the rook up, drop the rook back, put a pawn in the center, and take the center to myself. These are things I could try. Um, problem is, I kind of like this diagonal being open, at least for now. Uh, I could push this pawn. If they advance the silver, I could push this pawn again. They could exchange pawns, and then I... Well, I've helped them play fourth foul rook in this case. Hmm. I think I should just find some shelter for my king and make a plan later. So the one thing I'm giving up by moving the king here is I can't play silver up immediately with the aim of tucking the king behind this. Um, one thing I gain is I could still consider playing Anaguma Castle. That is, uh, move the lance up, tuck the king behind, build this really solid, strong shape in the corner, while at the same time they're trying to build this strong shape in the center. They seem not to be attacking just yet, so... If I build this little castle in the corner, it's going to be their turn to attack. And that's fine. Um... Yeah, so they're attacking on the left. And I think the standard counter to this is I push this pawn up. I'm not really sure. I saw this, but I'm like, all their generals are disconnected. This is... It doesn't seem profitable to me what they're trying to do. So... I'll just ask, hey... What are you doing? Is this what you really wanted to do? And if they respond by saying they want to start exchanging lots of pieces, if I can build my castle in the corner before that attack comes too critical, then that might be a good situation for me. Uh, this is the critical moment here. And I'm not sure. It would be wonderful to be certain of what I'm doing. I just am not certain. Um, I bring this up, they push, if I advance, they take, I take, they work over, I can't defend this. Um, so how do I defend this? I think this is right, but I am not sure. Okay, they have given up pressure on the second file in exchange for getting pressure on the third file. Um, hmm. I 
I know they want to like open this diagonal in some way that profits them. Have I erred grievously here? Have I like really, really, really messed this up? I don't understand. Maybe I didn't have time for this king move. <sighs> What's going on here? Silver up, pawn up, silver takes, silver up. I might have erred here, I wonder. <sighs> Am I going to ha- I mean, that was a question for myself, but um, thanks for moral support. But, yeah, sorry, I'm not- not intending to ask the audience any questions here. Sorry if it sounds that way. But yeah, it looks like if they exchange pawns here, I can move my silver up, maybe. Okay, now they show their true intentions over here. How gutsy am I feeling? Well, they took this silver and moved it all the way over to the left side of the board. So, whatever counterattack they might have against Anaguma is going to be slow. On the other hand, I pushed my central foul pawn, which doesn't really help my case defending this. Uh, I wish... I could push that back. I cannot. And so we have a game. Um, I have to defend this head here, which allows me, if I need to, to move the bishop back. Um, not that I need to right away, but Someday, I predict that if this diagonal doesn't open favorably for me, there's going to be a need to put this bishop somewhere else uh, when they start breaking the third file. Um, my rook defends this based square. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I mean, I get that normally I would counter that, um, all right, let's just do it. Sure. This looks interesting. I'm not saying it's smart. It looks interesting. If they want to put their king in the center and then start exchanging many pieces, I think that could be fun. Okay, that is very... Oh, well, okay, the bishop's defended. This is still asking for trouble. So if I push this, silver takes. I exchange bishops. I can drop the bishop anywhere, but I cannot immediately profit from that. Still, that is a ballsy move. I would not do such a thing. Um, 
but so far I've not found a refutation. I'm just going to build my little castle, pretend everything's normal, and see, like, do they bring any of these generals forward? I wonder. Yeah, they bring the bishop forward, because, like, that's the obvious shape here. But it's going to take some time for that. It's going to take three moves for this knight to land over here. That's three chances for me to do something. Oh. That's catching my surprise. Um, okay. <sighs> well... Um, I don't think I ever could have predicted that. Okay, I'll just build the castle. It's a perfectly normal game. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of. Except everything. Yeah, if this bishop has to walk around the knight, that's a bit awkward. And if this knight goes forward, I don't have to pursue it. I could pursue it. Oh, there's another tactic here, isn't there? And that's that if I take this knight, I have a knight fork. Of course, the king could move over and defend, but I'm just saying there's a tactic that I hadn't considered previously. And if this bishop's in my way, you know, there's a way I can resolve that. Um... That also slows down whatever attack they might have against my castle. Um, didn't even think about that until now, but it looks kind of fun. And we know how I tend to do with fun things. I play them. Um, problem is, I'd like to activate the rook. I don't see a way to do that right away. Oh wait, no. If we end up with the bishop exchange, if I drop here... Okay, but they could force me to... Yeah, I don't get a... I don't get away with having a promoted bishop just running around. So... This is interesting. Um... This is stupid, I should not do that. 
because it welcomes a fork on my back rank. I should stably move across the back rank instead of doing this. Should not have done that. It's okay. Maybe. I was considering that I don't see what they're doing immediately, so I'm going to play this first and then play it over one. Um, interesting. I don't think they see the fork. Or rather, they don't think they see the snipe fork. So, yeah, if and when they choose to do something aggressive on this side of the board, this actually once, yeah, after tactics resolve, if their silver is over here, I have a fork. Um, if that happens to be the case. Um... It's a nice patient move. It allows my lance to escape in some lines. Um, okay, we protect the head of my bishop. And I guess we uh, engage in this little warfare. I forgot that a pawn doesn't promote on the 6th rank, but on the 7th. Uh, hopefully that's not a problem. Alright, let's exchange the bishops. And then at the end of this, I can drop a bishop, executing a bishop fork of this rook and silver. And while I wasn't trying to execute a cheapo here, they had pretty well defended against any other threats I could muster while I was building the super solid castle. So that's why I'm resorting to this tactic, even though it's kind of like a cheapo, I don't know. Like, this was the only thing I could find as my clock is running lower and lower. So I am slightly ashamed of it, but recognize, like, Hey, I kind of had to do this. Um, right, so I get a rook for a bishop. And now comes the hard part. <laughs> uh, finding good moves. Um, So, I want to attack with tempo. 
I'm somewhat concerned that they dropped something on the head of my silver. It'd be nice to keep this line open for my rook. No, I, I have to keep it open, even if it costs me the rook. It won't. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm trying to decide do I play on this side of the gold or that side of the gold? Because both are somewhat interesting. This one's closer to the king. And they're not going to drop a bishop into the corner just to deal with this. Whereas if I drop something over here, they might put a bishop somewhere to try to frustrate my rook's movement. But I don't think they can stop my rook from moving. I don't know. Okay, Guillaume is 60 on? seconds, so... Um... Yeah, I think I should place in this corner. That way, like, my king is even more secure, and I'm closer to their king. But all the pieces I want to take are on the left side of the board. Except for the king, which is on the right side. So I'm confused. Um. Right, I think this is reasonable. If pieces exchange, my rook will be close enough to the king to do some damage. Now this panicking over left side, right side of the gold might not matter in the event that they just move the gold. But I was more thinking about if they drop a knight on the left or drop a knight on the right. Well, they don't want to drop a knight here, because that knight can't hit my king. They might want to drop it in the center, because it cuts off like half the board to my rook. Uh... That's interesting. <sighs> Man, the cool move would be Rook takes silver. Unfortunately, it's not cool enough to make up for a material deficit. It should be kind of enormous. But for one shining moment, that would be a really cool move. So they're threatening a counter tactic along this diagonal. Which I think I should just allow. And then block. Um, yeah. So let's take this. Now if they drop a bishop here, I can just move the rook. And let's check. And then figure out what to do about this situation in the other corner. Uh, not this turn, but some other turn. Right, so... My next thought was maybe I'm going to drop a pawn in front of my rook. <laughs> Not the sort of thing I want to do, but, like, I don't know. Alright, well, let's check. And, yep, the cool move would be to take the silver and then drop it here and start taking more things. But I think that's a little too cool. It's a little too much risk there. I don't know what to do.
40秒Okay, we're not going to block my rook. That would be silly. We'll do this. And if they want to win a pawn, you know, I'll just take everything else. And whether or not they're interested in winning a pawn, I still have threats along the third file. Which they're probably going to shut down by placing a pawn in front and calm down this action a bit. Oh. Well, perhaps I misjudged. Um, well, now my cool move is even cooler. Um, hmm. I'm confused. I have too many good moves. Yeah, I think we're going to do a cool move here. We'll take one of these. So, we'll get a bishop here soon. Now, we've just given the opponent a rook, and you know how much I like my rooks. It wasn't an easy decision to make. But, you know, sometimes compromises are necessary. So, we've got ourselves a bishop. This gold? Well, moving this gold is very risky, sir. I'd be very careful about doing that. It might be playable, but I don't know. <laughs> if this moves, that's to discourage my dragon from moving to 2-1. Uh, but yeah, the head of this bishop is vulnerable. So maybe that's where my dragon needs to aim. Alternatively, maybe I should be defending this pawn again. Somehow. Hmm. Oh no, if they take this, like, lines open, stuff gets dangerous. My dragon's not in a great spot. Yeah, so a second ago I was afraid of this. And suddenly I'm changing my mind, because I get an attack. Even as much as they get an attack, I get an attack here. Um, well, if I move this, every time I move a piece, a weakness appears in my position. So I need to be careful which pieces I move. I think this is okay. Like I said, I'm nervous about doing this. It's going to allow a rook to ambush my silver from behind and take one of my pieces, but I get an attack which I think is worth it. 
Yeah, they'll take my silver as I get to promote a bishop right in front of their king. I think it's a, an okay exchange. They're considering a rook drop. That's bold. I guess they want to exchange it for... I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a problem with this. Let's see if they spot it. And this is why the king in the center is a dangerous thing. Now, if they try to counter this by moving the king, I can take this gold. So, I've kind of got to block this check. Uh, which do I do here? Let's take that. Um, do I go back? Back looks pretty forcing. I mean, the check was awesome the last time I played it. Why should I not do it again? I do want to aim for the king. Yeah, this here seems to be the best square for my bishop. Somewhat annoying trying to figure out how to dismantle this castle. Uh, I'm attacking the knight. I'm also attacking this idea of combining my dragons against the castle. Which I'm not so convinced is a good idea. But, um, it's an idea. So how bad can it be? But yeah, probably... I don't know. Bringing the bishop somewhere else might not have activated it any better. I'm having buyer's remorse on the bishop thing. Not that winning a rook was bad, but um, the way I redeveloped it was not great. My opponent is seeking to help my development, I guess. It's interesting. I don't have to take this. Like, after silver takes, silver is still vulnerable. So, um... It's curious. Strongest way for me to attack the castle is to hit it from both the left and the right. OK. 
Okay, this threatens Rook takes gold. Or Dragon takes gold and then gold drop on the head checkmate. This also threatens pawn up, dragon takes, king takes, well, okay. If the king could somehow escape forward, there'd still be some combination of the king, or dragon and knight, and all this to checkmate the king in the center. Um, if somehow the king could escape forward, if this pawn weren't here, I could still bring this dragon behind and the gold to this side. Thanks for the game. So yeah, as with each teaching ladder game, we follow it with a post-game analysis. Uh, that's what makes the teaching ladder... yeah. This is what makes the teaching ladder so enjoyable. It's that after you have these intense combats, um, yeah, you get to learn and enjoy the game together. <laughs> Uh, yeah, is that shape with the king in the center? Um, it's quite unique. Um, I guess I should ask before we get too deep down in the weeds here. Uh, could we analyze from the beginning? Yeah. Just a polite little suggestion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Just trying to set the agenda because I know it's easy to get excited about the rest of the game and then forget to look at the opening and middle game. Yep, good day. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It's a fun shape, and yeah, no, uh, now I see what he was aiming for. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So, it's a fun shape. Well, yeah, I mean, they could play boat like everybody else has played boat. Um, uh, usually move the king away from the rook. Uh, So, uh, yeah, the boat would be putting the king um, on the other side. Uh, but there could be reasons to do it this way. Uh, well, somehow my attack got stuck. Need to learn how oh, to quick the duck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's something I didn't quite get there. Oh, you're going to sleep. Yeah, this was a cool game. So possibly I needed to push in the center earlier or something. I don't know. 
Yeah, and then there's this notion of Urashino with that bishop protecting the silver and stuff. Uh, hmm. Uh, there are no many typical hacking ideas. Uh, have you found a unique idea? Uh, unique uh, idea, and like, you good. I don't know. So, like, Lily saying she preferred my position, um, but I'm not entirely sold on, like, I don't know how I would attack in the face of what my opponent did. Um, yeah. Yeah, 6 2 king looks a bit odd. I think what they did was fine. It's just that might indicate some fatal flaw on my part. Um, ah. Also welcome, uh, Potnos from Taiwan. Santa has too much pressure. Yeah. So we've got this interesting dynamic going on here where, yeah, okay, that early silver move is extremely risky. Um, well, if it's really so bad, then it should be punishable, right? Like, what am I missing? Okay, so, oh, well, yeah, if that were allowed, sure. Yeah, so this, this is one way things could proceed. Um, yeah, this is kind of strong. So, I wonder, though, um, you know, suppose I'd done this. We take here, right? Like, okay, so we take this. What's the big notion, though? There might be something for me here, especially because I have a pawn in hand, which is enjoyable. But... I didn't really see what to try. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Uh, and I don't know. Let's drop it back here. Uh...
Yeah, actually, the more I look at this, this is fine for me. There's... I don't have any problems in my position. Um, now, note that I didn't play Anaguma here, because I think that might be a bit much. Um, hmm. If you could somehow checkmate early in the game. Um, oh, no, that's a good point. It doesn't matter if it's in the center or on the left or the right. Having the king and the rook lined up is scary, no matter where it happens. Um, and yeah, here, here Gota's restricted because I've cut off the square in front of this pawn. So the rook has to find some other way to develop. Um, yeah. I don't get my fun little quick attack in the opening this time. Uh, I remarked early in the game how I wanted to play Central Fall Rook. But, yeah, here, um, all my fun with the Central Fall Rook is going to be slowed down a lot. And I'm just going to have to play a normal game uh, where I have an advantage. That makes sense. I'm not used to that. But, you know, if I win some games that way, maybe I'll get more used to it. Um, quick development. Yes. Yeah. So, let's see. Um... Yeah, this is a different game. So that was one way this could proceed. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do that, but um, yeah, this is interesting. So if I try to do something like this, do we see that? And this. And maybe this. I don't know. Um, all right. Activate some stuff. Really? OK, well, that's cool. Oops. Well, okay. Um, hmm. All right, so I see. Um, yeah, okay, that's fair. Oh, yeah, I guess. Well, so against this, we're doing uh, this again. Yeah, during the game I was concerned about the silver move, but I completely forgot the king was here. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yes, I was going to suggest maybe we need to take uh, just a quick little moment to do something like this, right? 
We got meat. Um, it's still awkward, but it's I kind of like this idea. Uh, I have to take this. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we need to try to defend this somehow. Uh, this is scary. Oh, that's a nice idea. I didn't see that. Um, hmm. Hmm. <sighs> You'd think there would be some kind of defense here somewhere. You'd be wrong. <laughs> Oh, uh, goodness. I don't know. Yes, I don't know about this one, but here... Um, I don't know if something crazy like this is warranted, right? We all know that I like my crazy moves. On ticks. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I think he's right. I think I have to try this move. So we have to take, take, um, okay, um, oh. Oh dear. That's a nice little tactic. Um jeez. Well uh that's tricky. This this keeps getting harder and harder to defend. By the way, in case it's not obvious. Um. Hmm. Yeah, so. Hmm. Drop the pawn up here. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Eventually, my absolutely not so tactics have to fail. There's no way to defend this indefinitely. Yeah, that's fair. Oh gosh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>
That's quite the attack. So, uh, yeah, what does she know with two silvers out? Reminds you of a flare. <laughs> yeah, so that that's a strong attack. Hence I say GG. Uh, yeah, so there's this notion that somehow I can like afford time for crazy ideas. It's not quite viable. Um, yeah. Yeah, this sort of stuff, uh, it's no good. But, uh, so I can't do that. Um, which is all to say, um, yeah, this is just like extremely hard to defend. So, why did I think this might be okay? Um, Senta's Rook against the Open King allows too many tactics. Uh, okay, so what's happening here? Is this still an Open King? I'm not sure about that. So, yeah, if I try to open the position, it's kind of a disaster. Uh, what? I do not understand. I'm starting to understand, but I still don't quite get it. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, yeah, this is more fun to play as Senta than as Gota. Well, my opponent suggests this bishop drop. Maybe he's right. Uh, that's an interesting idea. Well, is it? I'm not so sure. Um, yeah, it's, this seems like... Oh, really? Wow. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I mean, it's forced, but I just didn't think it was playable, but yeah, no, it's forced. Yeah. Uh, that's valuable from the perspective of starting to clear a path for our own bishop. Um... So, this is beginning to start to look playable. Um, okay. That's something. How is that a thing? Dear God, why pawn 5-5? Five five? I don't know. <laughs> I guess maybe it's fine. Um, yeah, actually... I'd intended to look at pawn 5-5 five five last, after everything else fails, but, um, but now there's this. So we need to go back, instead play like this. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, hmm.
This is a tense position. <sighs> yeah, pawn five five might be best, but I don't like it because it blocks this bishop. So the problem is with this guy in the way, like what can you do? Um but I mean, if you don't play that, you're not winning the spawn. Yeah. 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 It's not as much easier to play. I don't know if it's better or not, but... Uh, yeah, it's quite an odd position. Um... Yeah. I don't know. So I guess we slowly peel this back a little bit, or a lot. It's easy to get very excited about opening moves. I got quite excited too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh. So who knows, we might see it in some future Teaching Ladder game, too. Could be possible. We've really booked up. Uh, although odds are I'd probably play Pawn 5-5 five five much earlier if we had this again, because I didn't like my position. Um, so this kind of sort of started to look playable after I played so many slow moves. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm playing this defensive style. <laughs> uh, yeah, up oh, ambitious. I'm just a little tired, but it's okay. We're inventing the Joseki for the wild rapid attack. Yes, Duck Urashino, a combination of both of my opponent's strategies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um... Oh, yeah, a couple. Yeah. I guess we'll look, take a look at that. Um, something like this here. Um, okay. Um, I'm missing something. I mean, it's scary. I don't know how bad it is. Um... Hmm. Interesting. Well, when I say interesting, do I really mean it? Um... Hmm. 
Okay, so we're losing some material. I think it's fine, though. We can have four pawns. Yeah. Just debating whether to promote or not to promote there. Promotion looks okay. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah, I guess, am I profiting here? Doesn't seem that I am. Oh, this is clever. I'm going to allow it anyway. Oh! Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, this is a really solid shape. Um, but okay, yeah, he's asking why can't we take this with the rook or something. Um, so, yeah, here, this is my thought. Yeah. Meeny, meeny, somewhere. I don't know, here? So, Santa has pieces. Um, Gota has some initiative. I think scent is better here. Just having more pieces. Not necessarily having the highest value pieces, but having more pieces to attack with helps. Um interesting. Where is that going? Right, we have to go I think this retreat's okay. Um, and then I think this might be fine. Oh, well, that's interesting. I, it's scary, but, you know, that's never stopped me. Or has it? I mean, sometimes it probably has. Um... So that's a promotion. Um, oh, silver equals my mistake. Oh, I see. All right, that makes sense. Ah, uh, this is getting super difficult. Yeah, we take anyway. Um, and we go forward. I forgot the value of the pieces. Yeah. So I was thinking somehow that this is brilliant, and it's not because they have a silver they just defend with. 
Uh, yeah, I guess... I guess sacrificing the silver is not so smart. Um, yeah, no, I probably shouldn't do this. Um, probably should just step back like that. Okay, so they defend this king. Um, mm -hmm. Well, this is a strange position. I guess my silver keeps climbing backwards. I'm trying to shut out this damn horse. And then build something of an initiative here. It's not going to be easy, but looks playable. Um, I'm guessing a reverse boat. Yeah, we got something of a boat going on somewhere. Or gradually we're actually building boat castle. Um, yeah, so I have to sack this in order to be able to put a pawn in front of the lance. Um, hmm, I forgot that we have the horse. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, hmm. Santa still got it here. Hmm. This is amazing how Senta can just keep attacking the entire time. Um, so. Oh, uh, I don't know. Um. Mm. Yeah, Lily's right. There's just no way I can do stuff about this. Um, I can try to make it confusing, but there's just no stopping it. Um, and I thought this is a good try, too. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it wouldn't be found in a game. That's true. So. Yeah, this just underscores that it's definitely possible if we just activate all the pieces very aggressively uh, to press some kind of an advantage here, because... Um, Uh, you look at where these pieces are located. So, yeah, I definitely get an advantage here. Uh, so, during the game I was concerned, what if the silver tries to approach um, my bishop? And I think that kind of misses the point. Even though that was, like, deeply alarming to me somehow. It shouldn't have been. So, um... Uh... 
but yeah, I was afraid of it. So, like, I played this and this to try to stop this. Um, Yeah, so I could see now where what he was concerned about. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he points out king 4-2. I would further suggest king 3-2. Um, yeah. So this is why people play boat castle instead of trying to do a crazy attack. Um, so. <laughs> uh, oops, let's clear that. Uh, So, it's trying to get to this point, say, you know, this opening thing here was ambitious. Uh, and it certainly was. But I gave him time to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, definitely. So, I couldn't find an attack to save my life here. But, um, yeah, there's. I should have some attacks somewhere, even here. And... In the game's time control, 15 minutes with 60 second Byoyomi, I could not find anything here. Uh, but I should have something. I just don't know what. It's kind of hard. So, um, since I didn't see an attack, I built a castle. So... You know, when in doubt, it doesn't hurt to defend your king at least a little bit. I think I overdid it, but... Um, yeah, I couldn't really see how to attack here, so I just built myself a nice little castle in the corner. Um, here I wonder... Um, so maybe I should try this here, doing the whole this and that sort of thing. Having a point? Yeah. Oh, okay, so that might be a better idea here. Yeah, so, um... What might be played, I wonder. Well, that looks like such a strong idea. Um, so we have to take it. And then, like, what about this? Okay. And I get, yeah, it's such a strong idea because, like, the counterplay is hard to come by. Um, so the rook's defended. Oh, that's cool. 
That is really cool. You have to defend against the head of the rook being... Oh, jeez, really? All right, yeah, no, you're right, Lily, that here defending the rook's head doesn't get me anything. Um, so we just advance the knight, I guess. So we push this first. And the rook runs away. Are we sure about this pawn move? Okay. Um... I don't know about this. Yeah, we are taking that for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is just insane. That's unfortunately... Uh, well... It looks insane, but when does that stop me? Oh, shit. Yeah, just kidding. Um... <sighs> <Like this. laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. We gotta be a bit patient here, don't we? Um, hmm. There's gotta be something. I mean, do we just take this, I guess? This is crazy. Um, hmm. Yeah, it looks playable. It's Yeah, that's okay. It looks a bit too ambitious, just slightly. Um, interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is what I was thinking about. It's not silver back at all. Okay, yeah, I, w I didn't quite understand some of this. Uh, silver protects 4-4. Four, four. So... Yeah, that makes some sense. Um, oh! Oh, that's a cool find. I didn't see that. No, I like this. This is fun. This is fun. Ah, whatever. You're really threatening that? You really think you're threatening that? I mean, you might be, but I don't believe it. Um,
You kind of have to build the castle, you know? You don't just get to play the move. Okay, yeah. Uh, I mean, I was also looking at gold drop, and I'm like, you know, just none of this is adding up. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> yeah. Just a slight bit greedy. I'm the only one who gets to be greedy around here. Because <laughs> I don't do it right. Uh, Alright, so yeah, no night jump, no silver back. Well, yeah, so this night jump doesn't quite cut it. So, now what? What are we left with? I don't even know. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I mean, it's fun. Uh, uh, actually move earlier, so... Yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, this is more normal. This is much more normal. Uh... <laughs> uh... So yeah, this is a lot calmer. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's clever. King and the center is just so, 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 so exposed here. Um, I don't know, let's play this. Why not? Mm. Hmm. Yeah. So, I never quite complete my castle here, but yeah, these are some fun attacking ideas. Um, so yeah, getting the pawn in hand... Uh, uh, let's see, where is it? On in here is quite useful. Yeah. So that's cool. It makes sense that we should be able to get the pawn in hand, and yeah. Well, uh, to my opponent's surprise, and, um,. I just had some confusion during the game and didn't look deeply enough at the idea. I'd been looking at let's move the rook first, because in chess, 
you'd always put the rook there and then do the pawn move. In shogi, it's the other way around often. So, yeah, I just play like this super passive thing, um, then they attack. So, I've been playing the most passive whatever here. Um, yeah, perhaps I should uh, give the host status back. Since, like, um, I don't know. He's, oh! Yeah, cool. Um... Uh, have a good night. Uh, so yeah, this leaves us wherever with this analysis. Um, uh, <laughs> I missed many, many, many attacking ideas. Um, It was good to find this, because I kind of had to find something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what can you do? I guess this is what I get for being careful. Um. So, yeah, I mean, I built this here. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot to criticize. Yeah. I'm doing fine even if I lose, like, a rook and a bishop and who knows what else. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm actually doing quite fine here. So, um, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of, I'm trying to think of what the analogy you would have for a castle that expands across five rows and seven columns. What would you even call it? If it's like that, I don't know. It's super unsolid, but it's everywhere. It's more like a circus tent, I guess. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's something immense, um, so it's it's beautiful in its own way, but um, perhaps not practical for the purpose of securing anything in place. Um, so then I did pick up this, wasn't sure whether to drop the rook on the left or the right, ended up with this. Uh, Uh, so, what can we do? Oh! Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, you preferred rook over here. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. I'm a little exhausted after this game. I'm probably intending to do stuff beyond Shogi today, but uh, yeah. So, yeah, I was thinking maybe this, I don't know. 
I mean, yeah. Yeah, all this stuff collapses. It's not great. Um, I guess it's fine. Oh! Oh! Um, shnikes. Alright, so I have to do something like that. So, then we could place this. Um, hmm. So this is what I was trying to find during the game. The couple previous moves, and then the move of where I was dropping the rook. I just missed the, like, I could actually break this shape. Yeah. It's powerful. That's what it is. I mean, how often do you have... Um, uh, yeah, this thing here. Like, it takes a unique attack to break a unique shape. So, yeah, that makes sense. Um, it's possible I missed something on the other side, too. But, yeah, this is what I was looking for. I'm looking, I'm thinking about the pawn anchored gold. And wondering if it's supposed to be sarcastic. Uh, um, hmm. I don't know. But, yeah, I guess it, it's making some sense now. Hmm. Upon anchored gold is as hard as a rock. Yeah, I've heard this. Um, I can't type at all. Yeah, so. Might be as hard as a rock. I might not be able to completely break it, but, um. Mm hmm. Right. Yeah. So if you're looking for something to, I don't know, protect against a rook, uh, pawn anchored gold can certainly do that. Um, yeah, so I missed that. On the other hand, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have taken this lance. I don't know. I do not know. Well, it's okay. I just don't like it. Um, I feel like there's something much better here somehow. Yeah. I mean, it worked out okay in the game, but... I feel like there's got to be something so much better in all of this. Something more like this. I don't know. Taking was fine, I just don't like it. Oh! Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, is this defense? 
Oh, right. I keep forgetting. Like, this bishop doesn't defend the thing. Um... <laughs> Hmm. I'm also like okay. So if I get that pawn, do I even care? Um so defense is obviously the wrong idea here. But what's a good idea? I don't know. They have a bishop and a knight in hand. Um, and I can't sack my rook to blast the castle open. That is, I can't do rook take silver. That doesn't mate. The land drop is good. Um, I want the best move. Still looking for the best move here. Feels like, yeah, I mean, the lance drop looks okay. Um, just feels like there's got to be something devastating here somewhere. Maybe there doesn't need to be something like that. Oh, wait, no, I can't take the pawn. Yeah, this might be it. This might be my best move here. I mean, yes, getting the lance on the board. Let me take my lance and then, like, I'm threatening this pawn, but they're threatening a lance drop to win my dragon. This seems to, like, move things along a bit. And it seems difficult for Gota to find a good defense here. This pawn drop. Interesting. Um... Okay, I could see that. Um, maybe we bring the rook to a greener pasture here. I mean, yeah, I missed my big chance earlier to take down the left side of the board. But this looks okay. Pawn takes. So, um, this seems to suggest itself pretty easily. Snipe drop. Do I not want a knight? A knight could be useful. Um, yeah, I think I'll take a knight.
think it, this looks very, very, very advantageous for Senta. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, I see, yeah. So, yeah, I think my attack down the center seems to be the best way I could continue after having dropped the rook on the right. Um, and since this mates, what I'm curious about now... Yeah, um... Well, clearly this knight drop is extremely risky. But also, it's... I mean, yeah, dropping the rook on the left on 6-1... And then taking the knight and smashing all this would have been so much easier. But, um, somehow, I don't know. I think this, the way I attacked, might have been the strongest line of play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's the same uh idea. So I think the way I attacked was pretty good. Um oh something's gotta be played before silver back, like this you're saying. Right, so this builds a more solid shape here. Um hmm. Okay, yeah, no, you're right. This is the right way to uh, try to press against my attack here. Um, so I'd do two things here. I think one is I'd ask you to place a piece on the back rank. Or a pawn, okay, yeah. Oops, that's not legal here. Uh, bishop? Okay. Oh. Oh, it's possible to defend and attack at the same time. So when I do this, that's not with a gain of tempo. Ah, because then I was going to, like, drop the rook back here and claim I was so clever for forcing a piece to go where it doesn't want to go. But, oh, that's actually quite reasonable. I mean, yeah, so... Yeah, the next part I was going to do is put the dragon here. Um, yeah, so you're right. I, sh I needed to take the piece. Because this is just slower. Um, whereas taking pieces, I can continue attacking. So, yeah, this gold move is stronger than it looked because this bishop drop here is actually pretty active and useful. That's cool. Yeah. Right. I mean, that's still risky, but still. The, the point is that Gota's resisting here and counterattacking. So. Um, yeah. That makes sense. So, yeah. You know, what this all means is that the pawn 5-5 five five here doesn't redeem my attempt to attack here, uh, and indeed what you are saying earlier is correct, that yeah, this is the better way to go about attacking, even though they got two bishops and a knight in hand, like this just collapses the castle, which is odd because the castle is nowhere next to the king, but you know, yeah. Yeah, your lance drop is best in the game line. Um, uh, yeah. I don't know. Shogi's a complicated game. That, uh, let's see. So yeah, you are mentioning in the game line that the lance drop was best. 
Yeah, instead of this. Uh, yeah, you're suggesting somewhere around here. Shogi, yeah. We continue learning this, but yeah, definitely Shogi is hard. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to continue to teach us this thing that Shogi's hard. <laughs> it just is. It's not like chess. And chess, like, uh, I don't know. Things simplify as uh, attacks continue. Um, okay, well, to throw a further wrinkle in this entire analysis, your lance drop refutes your bishop drop in a way. Um, yeah. In a way that's pretty clear. So, like, here, yeah, I don't think the bishop drop quite holds the same water here as it held in the other line. <laughs> But, um, yeah, um, yeah, this time the lance taking is just, like, incredibly strong. So you need to find something else here. So, like, something like a knight back here somewhere is probably required to just try to survive this for a bit. Um, yeah, that was the other thing I was trying to contemplate when you pointed out this gold move. Um... Which is, you could consider this. Um, it's possible. And then, like, one wonders, well, okay, did we need the lance here? Um, maybe. Maybe not. Um, I guess an answer to this would be to, like, push the dragon back here. And just really see whether or not Gota can hold this. Um, yeah. Could try to hold it that way. Uh, I'm not so sure that I'd be confident about playing this position, but, you know, to each their own. Um, yeah, I might wimp out and play something like that. Um... So, yeah, uh, like, there's probably a lot of ideas there. It's, when you're placing your last non-pawn, there's only so many places it can go. Um, but, yeah. Oh, 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 did I miss this? Does this repeat my gold move? That's kind of cool, if it does. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Um, I wonder though. Oh, this is a way to get a pawn in hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's possible. You could certainly get a pawn in hand that way and get the lance out. I hadn't even thought about that. That's really funny. That is hilarious. Um, that's... I don't know. This seems complicated. Why do we need to make things complicated? This um, feels like this should be a little bit easier than that. Um, I mean... <sighs> what to do, though? Maybe that is the only way forward. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Oh, silver there instead. That's tempting. Especially because it's hard to defend against. Well, I've got a cheeky little defensive move, though. So this pawn's the target, right? Once we've established that we know what the target is, we just need to defend the target. Which is ridiculous. You'd never want to put a bishop here. But um, it defends the target.
So, yeah, I mean, the attack still goes on somehow. Um, hmm. Man, finding an attack... Oh, there we go. I was struggling there to find a constructive move. Yeah, that makes sense. Let me take one of those. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, yeah, the dragon dies there. That's unfortunate. A casualty. So, this might be a bit slow. Um, I can't just... Like, I'm being... They say beggars can't be choosers, and I am both begging and choosing. Um, yeah, something like that. Yes. Um, hmm. I'm just trying to find another another path here. Uh, in my mind, this rook is still prone here. It's going to be prone for a long time, but it makes good threats while it's prone. I might just sack the lance. And then we go chase down this guy. Is there a mate? Have I walked into something? I think it's okay. There goes another lance. Um. But yeah, for sure I've taken the difficult path here. Again, like, collapsing the castle was so much smarter than this is. But, you know, all roads lead to Rome. Mm -hmm. um, go back and threaten all the cool stuff you were threatening earlier. Okay. Um, <laughs> they say things about a pawn anchored gold, but they never say things about a gold anchored lance. Hmm. I guess the gold anchored lances don't happen very often. If I go to the center, they just pawn drop. That's no fun. Man, I thought this attack was going to be fun. Yeah, pawn anchored, gold anchored, lance. Just add some more anchors in there just for effect. Um, yeah, I don't know. Something like this, I guess. That defends my night checks. Well. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah, that's a... Hmm, so I messed up. My other plan was to, like, start exchanging stuff somehow. But probably needs to have some more details before I can actually do a plan like that. So originally I brought the rook to this file thinking I'd drop the knight over here. Maybe some more oblique approach is best. Um,
Hmm. Man, it's hard to pull the trigger on this sort of combination. I don't have mates. That's why it's so hard. If I had mate, this would be a lot easier. So. Yeah, my night drop just gets in my own way. I should just, like, calm down. Play some patient moves. Eventually find some way back in and... It's not fun. So this all reinforces, at least that I don't know how to attack is the point. Um, yeah, so I've messed up. I severely messed up somewhere, and I'm trying to find where. I thought my attacking idea was cool, but this lance sack doesn't lead anywhere. Um. Yeah. So I was thinking the Lance Sack was somehow going to revive this attacking idea, and it didn't. Um, hmm. And further, we know this gold move uh, slows down the attack. So... And yeah, taking the Lance is still probably best. Um, hmm. With my dragon hanging, take this. I don't know. Maybe some other position. Like after this check, take that. I don't know. Um, I mean, you might be right. I might be stingy somehow here. I mean, yeah, you're saying after this, or right away? Seriously? Since it can go there. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. All right. Interesting. Take here. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Huh. That's cool. Okay, uh, so, yeah, let's take this one instead and see the main line. Um, get this check. Tricky stuff. Oh, sorry, I missed your comment. Or, I missed Pig Peneroll's comment here that he's going to bed. I saw the, all these other comments, I just missed the going to bed one. So, we do miss him. Uh, that's clever. Ah, oh, this attempts to block the bishop. Huh. 
<laughs> tactics, tactics. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not so easy to attack here. Yeah. Move earlier. Just take... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, take this one. Um... Hmm. I guess. Yeah, so Gota does have to answer this somehow. Um, I guess this is an answer. Okay. Not so sure that this is worth giving up a rook over. Santa might still be better if they're lucky. But yeah. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Um That was a fun attacking idea. Um yeah, something more along this line is what I've been trying to think about. Um, oh, after the night drop. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, that's hard to stop. Okay. Um... Hmm, this might bring into question, should I drop a rook there instead of a knight? But the rook there is just like way too heavy and not smart. So yeah, it's going to be a knight. Um, but yeah, what to do now? Timer's ticking. There's not a lot to do. Um... Yes, thankfully I know about this move now. Oh, wait, this is still actually really strong, isn't it? Because uh, this forces Gota to defend this pawn. Uh, somehow I'm like morally opposed to placing the rook here, but find myself doing it anyway. Okay, what? Oh, have I missed something? Or rather, what have I missed? Uh, Um, hmm. Oh, wow, this just speaks to how dire Gota's position is. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Um, all right, can Gota defend a little differently, or is... Um, so let's check. I briefly considered this and like rejected it pretty quickly, but this might be actually what's required here, even though it leads to much the same. At least they get a silver for their suffering, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Gota's castle is an utter mess. This can't be right. 
Um, what to do here? There's too many options. Rook, I don't know. I want to use the Rook to defend all the weaknesses, and it's just not possible. Ricks are awesome pieces, but they can't cover everything. But yeah, maybe this is necessary. Oh gosh, that pawn is going to hurt, isn't it? Um, oh, I've even got the square already defended once, and I'm still defending it again. What am I doing? <laughs> it's okay. So I was attempting to show that, like, go to... I don't know, that this particular rook sack is a little bit slow compared to other stuff. And it seems to be a little bit slow compared to other stuff. Just because, like, this attack is... it's not speeding up. Okay, a pawn could maybe speed this up. Pawn drop could maybe speed this up some. Okay, got a bishop drop coming if we're not careful. Or even if we are careful, we still have a bishop drop coming. Uh, that's good to know. Oh, we did this pawn drop back here as Gota. That was so dumb. Why did I do this pawn drop? Prevents me from pawn dropping up here. I don't want to prevent that. Um, hmm, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Sentus King is just way too solid. There's nothing Gota can do here to even try to resist. It's so sad. Um... So the reason I did this rook drop was to try to defend against this bishop drop and bishop promotion right next to the king with this pawn looming on the other side. Um, this, my idea is just flawed. So... Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Go to... Position is just so severe. Um, but yeah, I guess you're right. This lance drop forcing exchanges, this attack just never completely stops. Yeah. Oh! Oh, that's much... Well, I don't know. I was going to say that's much more to the point, but I'm not sure that it is. But it's a good idea. I don't know, I liked the original idea here better of forcing exchanges right there. So, um, so yeah, this uh, knight drop is ill-advised, and something like this drop would be better. And it's still going to be a hard for Gota to hold on to. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. Now, Sumero is the way to go, for sure. Uh, and yeah, I think, yeah, your Rook Drop 6 1 idea meet, leads to Sumero much more readily. Although, this Rook Sack seems to also uh, have strong initiative. Um,
So yeah, the reason we picked the rock the rook sack is because it speeds up the attack. Um I'm not sure that here it does. And while, yeah, this rook sack is fun, I'm not sure that it's as convincing as the other stuff we've been looking at. Um, yeah, you're right, though, I should take this lance, even though it slows down the attack a bit, because I will need the lance. There are good ways for me to use it. Um, and a lot of my attacking ideas are just much too slow here, so anything other than several blunders in a row is, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, that seems accurate. Ah, I think I see a way for my dragon to re-enter the game, and that's to go here with this fork, and potentially even this idea, but that's probably too slow. But yeah, this fork re-enters the game, and then can come back in this way. But yeah, you're right that, like, basically anything's going to win here. Um... Right, so this is the most natural move, and um, I'm still debating whether, like, running the knight is the most natural response or not. Um, so we have a, a lance in hand. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, maybe something like this, although this seems to run into a pawn drop right away. Um, oh, that's why we don't play it. Yeah. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm confused. Why am I so confused? The one thing I've been repeatedly considering and not saying aloud, because it just looks silly, um, is this. And it looks especially silly after this capture. Um, which is much the same outcome as the just the direct rook sack, but yeah. Yeah, rook takes instead of silver takes. Oh, right, so if this I'd seen oh I for some reason I thought a pawn drop here was possible. But no, they have to, like, pick a lance here. They can't pawn drop on the rook. So yeah, getting even a lance for this would be probably fine. Like you're saying, um, pretty much anything's going to win for Senta here. Um. Oh! Oh, duh. Yes. Yeah, we could just move back instead of just giving away everything. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. Not sure why I'm so slow. Um, oh, you're thinking Gota shouldn't bother taking this because it speeds up Senta's attack. Yeah, Gota already has a lance, I guess. Um, or I guess they don't. But it's not gonna, like, be part of any decisive attack. Yeah, it's... Regardless, whatever Gota does, it's gonna be extremely slow. But, yeah, you're saying you don't think they should take the lance... Yeah. 
Sorry, we were in this variation. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Um, this castle is just... Yeah, this has been what's inspiring me to do so much analysis here, is to try to figure out what the heck is going on with this extremely weird castle shape. Um... Because it holds off many attackers. It really does. So, yeah, this idea of escaping this way is not so bright. I mean, it works, but... Uh, yeah, there's, there's just not much in Senta's hand to continue attacking with. Um, so it's just going to be a longer game if I do this. I guess I feel like the elephant of the room might be this move. So I don't have to take the lance immediately. And I can give myself time to do stuff like this. And this. I didn't need to be in such a rush here. Yeah, they can protect the lance. Whatever. Um, I don't think my taking the lance is right. Uh, it just needlessly gives some counter chances that don't need to exist. And now, in this case, uh, now I take the lance, because it's actually doing something. And, I mean, I know this looks very much like a transposition, but it's different. It is different. Okay, so now Gota only has a bishop in hand. Um, are they going to sacrifice this bishop here or something? Like, what's the idea? I guess, yeah, they continue to aim for mate, as they should. Um, I guess I take it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm learning something here today. The hard way, apparently. Um... So next move, I guess, is silver back, unless something happens. Hey, look, something happened. I might... I don't know. Oh, interesting. There's still this bishop drop on the other end of the board. Uh... I don't want this to hit my rook. I very much like my rooks, perhaps to a fault. So, now we step out of the attack. And, okay, yeah. Go to get something to attack with. This does slow down my attack a bit. Um, do I have mate? Probably somewhere. Am I going to find it? Nope. <laughs> but I can try. Ah, uh, goodness. 
Well, I'm not using this silver, so why do I care so much about these three pieces? I care because I want mate. Um, every time I give away a piece, I'm further from mate. But we have to chase this down. Really, I want this gold to disappear. Yeah, why am I taking the long route here? My mistake. Um, how can I force this gold to disappear? Wait, did I back up too many times? Yeah, I backed up one too many. How about this one? King takes and go after the king. That looks hard to defend against. Um, okay, we chase the king from this direction. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I think actually my bishop drop here is kind of clever. So, yeah, somehow some concept that I found here is original enough to make a difference in this defense. Or in my attack, rather. Yeah, this looks a little bit more fierce. Okay, we can wait. Sure. Uh, oh, maybe this is not needed. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious. Let's find out. I'm not saying I have this all solved yet, but I am curious. Uh, let's see. Um, man, finding checkmate's not easy. I wish it were a little bit easier sometimes. Gold 5-5, five, five. pawn takes... Don't have two pieces. Um, I guess it wouldn't hurt to throw this in. I don't know if it helps, but it wouldn't hurt. So now we got a promoted bishop. Hmm, I don't know if the promoted bishop helps or not. Um, it looks like it should help.
Yeah, so... <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah, this... It's a very good counter-attack. It's just, uh... Like you said, Senta's winning this whole time. Right, exactly. Yeah, so... That doesn't hold either. So, yeah, Senta's just winning and i think this bishop drop mates not by checkmate not in but it's like sumatoro that like this is brinkmate and there's no way to lift the brinkmate um Where did my beautiful checkmate go? Oh no. Uh, that's okay. Um we still have something here. It's ugly. We had a beautiful checkmate, and then we have this. Right, yeah, the gold drop there is gonna mate. So yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So this mates, so yeah, this bishop drop, um, yeah, it doesn't quite cut it. Uh, so now after the bishop drop, we run here. That's the thought. Uh, does this look familiar? Oh, we're going to run that way. Okay, sorry, my mistake. Um, I meant this one. Yeah. Um, but no, you're right. That like, this isn't exactly a transposition because my rook is one isn't hitting the square right now. But yeah, like this. It, clearly, the mate's gonna follow. The knight's not here yet, so yeah, it's a weird way to transpose. Um, yeah, so this slows the attack by one move further. Right, so right here, Gota's playing the king into the center as forced. And I'm debating, like, is this faster or is this faster? Um... Or maybe just something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Yeah, actually this doesn't look too bad. So, threats this and that. Let's see. Right. Yep, so checkmate is imminent. So... Yeah, I think this is a bit swifter than my previous approach. I'm not saying, like, like obviously you had a lot of very good ideas here as well. I'm just saying for my own understanding, um, the thing that I found it that was flawed in my post-game analysis here um, was that I took the lance immediately. And I don't need to take the lance immediately. I can delay taking the lance and instead, like, block this diagonal, cutting off this bishop counterplay here. 
Yeah, so... Right, so this immediate attack on the king without by just moving the pawn here is too risky. Right, so yeah, we'll take now a look at a different line where we're not sacking the edge pawn. And like, next time you sack the edge pawn, I just take it, right? Because, um, um, yeah, so this is the other thing to think about is what if we don't go on this crazy attack to try to mate me right away? What if we just play this calmer thing? Uh, right, threatening to surround the rook. So the rook looks dead, so we better move it, right? So get the rook out of the corner. And yeah, I guess I've incurred a lot of risk for not taking this lance, haven't I? Because now this pawn advance looks scarier than last time. Although it isn't necessary to move it right away, but yeah, no, I think you're right. But taking the lance is far safer. And here I'm just asking for trouble. Yeah, I should not even consider this uh, for Senta. Not unless I have some extremely strong counter, and I don't. So, yeah, this, you're right. But this is the right idea, and the correct move order in which to do it. Um, man. So where does that leave me? I liked my pawn drop, but it doesn't quite work here. Um, And in the game, I took the slants right away, and this bishop drop is no fun. So what about this move? Oh, welcome. Hello. Sorry it took me... I don't know how many minutes to see your comment there. Right, and my idea with this move is now I take the lance. I think I like this one better. So, yeah, this time I don't see this bishop 3-3 three, three and taking my lance in the corner. <laughs> That's good to know I'm paying at least some attention. Yeah, yeah, we're back to this idea here. Yeah, that's right. Um, and at some point, we'll get to test your question. Well, no, your question is about a pawn anchored gold as opposed to a bishop anchored. Like, it's not even anchored there, it's just floating. But, um, oh, I forgot I had that. Yeah, that helps. Um, is that decisive here? Maybe not. Yeah, so, yeah, no, you're right, we looked at this before. Um, yeah, that's uncomfortable, for sure. Um, yeah, well, the one way that maybe this, oh, I'm sorry, there might be, no, just one way if this is okay, would be, yeah, this bishop drop. And that's why I didn't, like, when you hint at this right now, I'm like, well, I'm not so sure. But yeah, this looks like, in my opinion, it's the only move. Um, it might not be, but in my opinion, it looks like it. Um, yeah, that's awkward. Maybe I could be happy with that. I'm just... Not have to pursue this further, but um, hmm. yeah. I mean, I've, in chess and in shogi, I've played uglier moves. It, it definitely has a bad feeling to it. Um, mm -hmm. so. Just to take us full circle, <laughs> what if I take this? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, no, I think not saving the hostage pieces there would... Um, I mean, at that point, you have to checkmate, and, like, 
Okay, Anaguma is kind of hard to checkmate. All right, now we try your idea here. Now that we've completely shut down this bishop that no longer exists on this diagonal, I like this. It's going full circle here, so. Uh, and yeah, I think this is fine. I think Senta enjoys this position. Well, that's kind of fun. Depending how crazy I am, maybe I sack the dragon. Depending how crazy I am. Hmm. Yeah, let's well, not. Not that crazy. Not when there's a free lance to be taken. Alright, yeah, well, this is a good attack. Um, now we sack the dragon. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I've shown that I'm far too greedy here. That I've done everything in the name of material, and it's the day of reckoning is coming. Um, yeah, I perhaps should not play this way. <laughs> this is how I tend to play and how I tend to get checkmated. All right, so. Maybe... Oh, that's a nice fork, though. Uh, goodness. Hmm. That does make me stop and think, doesn't it? So I was just counting on this attack being so fun and so nice, but, like, this fork is super annoying. Um... So it's like, I need to land an attack first. Oh! Yeah, I guess that's one way to avoid a fork, isn't it? Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, we get a similar position, though, so my mind turned to this idea. Um, or I'm trying to aim somehow at this king. Um, and I keep missing the king, barely, but eventually I'll close in on it somehow. Um, yeah. I don't know. Feels like I should have something here. So you got one piece attacking my pawn. Um, I guess we just to take here. Um, <laughs> this line's gonna be fun. I got a rook drop. Oh, now the tactics are building. Yeah, indeed. Oh, so many tactics. Oh, jeez. Um, that king is, like, super hard to surround. Man, I wish I had so many more pieces. If I had only 35 more pieces, this attack would be so much easier. Um, yes, I'm just, I somehow ignored the fact that this rook drop was possible. And I shouldn't just completely ignore that, right? Hmm. But what to do? Ah, oh, how in the world do I continue here? If I put a silver out here, it's in space, and it's not going to do anything. 
for a very long time. Um, I don't know, is this stupid? How stupid is this night move? All right, yeah, we still have the rook drop. Still hits the silver. Jeez. Um. Man, that sucks. Yep. So we have to give the lance. And then what? Okay. Um, that's spooky. That underscores just how bad I am at defending. Um, okay. So now if I know this night drop is going to land in my face... Um, maybe I do something about it. I don't want to commit my lance yet, but I kind of have to. No, I don't. Play this. But yeah, I can certainly find ways to defend my king and survive this endgame. Um, but boy, have I taken the long road here. There was no need to take such an extremely long road. For some reason I thought I would silver drop king takes... And I forgot the bishop takes, and this is not check. Um, interesting. Yeah, no. That's a very good defense on your part. And while Senta is better, that this is a very admirable and strong defense. Um, damn. <laughs> All right. So I am not vindicated in any way. <laughs> yeah. Nicely done. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, obviously Senta was better the whole time, but yeah. Shows how often you get in terrible positions out of the middle game. Yeah, don't we all? And by having to play these positions, you improve quite a bit. And yeah, the more you watch other people and the more you practice, the more you learn. So yeah, here, yeah, this knight advance is just dumb. But like all the other attacking ideas I want to do are just too slow. Yes, there are attacking ideas. Yes, Senta can win if he plays it right, but Senta has to play correctly. And so my idea of bringing back Lily's Rook Sack that in the different line worked well. Here, the Rook Sack does not work as well because there's so many attacking ideas here. And I underestimated them. So I took her good idea and I broke it. <laughs> and she was the one to show me why it's broken. So yeah, nicely done. I think you win the post-game analysis today. Yeah, so there there might be some merit to what I'm showing a little bit, but it's, if there is merit, I'm exaggerating it. Yeah. Um, and so when you've been teaching certain Q players, 
get mad at them for resigning in positions that have so many resources available. Yeah, because they don't get a chance to learn that, oh, if you just found all the good moves, you would have been fine here. Um, yeah, that's a tough one. In chess, the positions always get simpler. So we encourage the kids to play on in chess. And shogi, I don't know. I mean, even in chess, I've had more of a neutral stance toward resigning than many players have had. Because if you don't, if you're not looking for the ideas because you're too dispirited or exhausted or something, I kind of get that people are human in this way and kind of forgive it sometimes. Um, but yeah, there's so much to learn by playing it out. So if a player says, I want to be the most competitive, the strongest player, um, yeah, resigning's not going to get you there. Uh, unless you, like, know that you're dead, then that's something different. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, chess can become impossible to recover if the opponent's playing well. Um, in Shogi, there's always at least some chance, although I still get that people are human, and I still tolerate it, but if the player says, I want you to help me learn to play better, you gotta play it out, man. It's difficult. Um, but yeah, I think this check, followed by this capture, even though it leads to this nice attack, like, yeah, this is a good bishop drop, this is a good pawn advance, this is really forcing Senta to come up with some good ideas here. Um, I still prefer this over what happened in the game where I'm giving up the pieces in the corner. Although, objectively speaking, like, here clearly Gota's one move faster. So, like, why do I prefer this? I don't know. It's because I'm crazy. I guess. Um... Never been lower than 1600 in chess. So, oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. You know, the other day I lost an uh, endgame uh, against a 2500 on Lee chess. Um, and I was mad because, like, I'm not used to losing in the endgame. Like, I'll take an opening loss, I'll take a middle game loss, but losing in the endgame just. I did not understand how that happened. But then after the game, we look, oh, he's rated 2,500. Okay. I guess I can tolerate this. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so I'm just dawdling back and forth here. Uh, I mean, there's probably still some way to make the rook sack work, but it's just not as good as I thought. Um, uh, actually, maybe take their first, yeah. I don't know. I mean, engines know everything here, so... A reasonable step could be to inquire with an engine what to do. It might suggest, like, throw something like this on the board, which I've been trying to look at a little bit. It's probably not as good as I think it is, you know. It's hard to come up with original ideas that are also good, but, um, yeah. Yeah, engines would give lots of really cool and reasonable ideas. Um, also, would um, well, yes. Yeah, so this is why when we have our doubts, we don't just turn to the engines. We also ask strong human players, what would you do? And so, like, this is one of these multiple choice things. Like, would you take this? Would you just check here? Would you do something else? Like, yeah, this, they say things about a chess personality quiz. There really should be a shogi personality quiz. Um, because, like, even after seeing all the evidence, I still prefer this rook check and not dropping the lance and knight in the corner. Even though it obviously gets my rook in danger after this strong idea with the pawn push and the bishop drop. I still like this intermediate check, trying to break things up a bit. And yeah, even after all of this, like, I mean, 
So another idea that we have not looked at would be like this sack just to stop the attack, you know, but like then we have Rook drops everywhere and it's not smart. Um, oh, there's probably one more idea here. Um, so yeah, there's some combination of stuff going on here with like pawn drop there, lance drop here, you know, stuff happens. But yeah, it's amazing. A king and a gold like can hold up against a dragon unless he's got reinforcements. And all his reinforcements are sitting back at home. Because I played Anaguma Castle. So, yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't want to help the knight get up there. Yeah, that makes sense. So, I don't know, maybe by playing more Anaguma, but by watching more players play it, I could get a better sense of how to play it correctly. Um, let's see. So, yeah, it was an interesting game. Um, so I guess that's our teaching ladder game for the weekend. That's a really cool game. Let's see. I like to think I handled, uh, and I see just uh, a position against a one Q. Let's see. Yeah, when we're done with this, we can play a practice. I see. Yeah, so I guess that's uh, our teaching ladder game. Hope we've all enjoyed the game, especially enjoyed the analysis. It was very interesting. And hopefully we'll sit, get to do it again some other weekend, too.